PG&E intended to build a nuclear power plant right here, mm -hmm. a reactor. And uh, big dream, uh, developers were already thinking there would be a freeway from here to San Francisco along the coast. Um, local activists got wind of the story. Now, the way it works is the same old story. They, get, they go through the courts, they get the permissions, they got a public relations branch, and they were steamrolling this through with politicians who were making decisions without really public comment. So the activists banded together and started a campaign to make the public comment. And some fortuitous things happened. There were uh, Malvina Reynolds, I don't know if you remember, Little Boxes, Little Boxes. Mm. She wrote a song against the reactor. Okay, mm. that, had, that got traction. Um, the editor of the Chronicle was on vacation, and the assistant editor got a big story in about the danger. Mm -hmm. So that got a lot of press. Uh, they did demonstrations here where they had balloons, helium balloons, with strontium written on it. They released them. They float south. They lose the helium and drop in your backyard, and you read, you're holding strontium from the Bodega Bay power plant. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the you consciousness win. went, and this was early 60s, so there yep. was a... Uh, a sense of resistance. But the final blow was a uh, UC geologist came out, climbed into the hole, said, you're on the San Andreas Fault. Bad idea. Yeah. And I believe at that point the AEC backed out and PG&E said, washed their hands of it. Mm -hmm. So this it's hole would have been the, the foundation, of a foundation of a... So we plant. would Bodega Bay would have been a nice warm place to swim then, right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that was one of the arguments. There was a lot of people who said it's going to warm up the water and kill the fish. And yeah. We live yeah, on yeah. that fish. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess it was a case of citizen activists expressing concerns that delayed it long enough for consciousness to, to actually be solution. able to pay attention to what yeah. issues might have actually happened if something like that had happened in Japan, for instance. People might have you know, put higher seawalls up at least or something like that. You do need the, the citizen involvement to build a kind of a momentum. Yeah, and as we think about how to deal with global warming, warming and all of that, we have to be really thoughtful, especially with nuclear because the isotopes are so, so long-lived and the storage and isolation issues are so big. We have to kind of, we really have to think you talked about seven generations, if we just thought seven generations, but I've been arguing for a while that seven generations isn't enough anymore. <laughs> you know, if you're dealing with, you know, plutonium, 24,000 year half-life. So you really have to plan a lot farther ahead. Something we can't do, you know, 24,000 years. No, so you have to build happen. something into yeah. it, something into the system, the political system, to to make sure it's going to be properly stewarded. Well, they, yeah, there's the scientific information, there's the political system, but there's also consciousness, the yeah. people's perceptions, your grandchildren. Imagine that they're there with us now, mm. right here, and we're making decisions that are going to affect them. If people could live like that, we'd make different decisions. So maybe yeah. this is the wake-up call to start thinking like that. Anyway, that's my dream. I'm not a scientist. Yeah. I, like, I like that. <laughs> I like that.